Hey guys, John here, Motor T Scale Models. So we're going to put this kit on the bench next. And this is an Ollie's kit that I picked up. Uh, it's $15.99. And I kind of like uh, the little Chevy, uh, the 57 Chevy Nomads. I like them. So I thought I'd grab this kit and take a look and see kind of what we could do with it. So this is a monogram kit. And it is uh, supposed to be level four, and uh, it's a 124 scale. It's got a lot of good things that's kind of on it here. I'm gonna kind of just kind of go around the box. This is kit number 85-0883, and it's the classic cruiser. So, not a whole lot on the outside that you can look at. Um, I was trying to see if I could see when this kit came out, and I don't see right here. Uh, I'll take a look again a little bit later on and see if I can find out what the year on this thing is. But um, it does show this from Revell.com. Anyway. So we're going to jump into the inside of it, and we're going to see what's inside and kind of go from there. So hold on just a minute. Okay, so this particular kit, um, this was redone in, in uh, 2022, this particular kit right here, as far as the um, uh, when this box right here was done. But the actual monogram uh, Chevy Nomad, according to Scalemates, came out in 1977, and uh, that was the new tooling on it. And then in 1986, they reboxed it and brought it back out. 1997, they came out with it again. Ravel Monogram came out with it, and this, this time it had some new parts to it. And then in uh, 2000. In the 2000s, that's all I could find is that Ravel put it out with a new box, same kind of tooling. They just uh, did the box art. And then 2007, same thing, they reboxed it. And then this particular kit right here came out in 2011 and it's got new decals in it. So, kit's been around for a while. I am looking forward to um, uh, getting into this one, so let's take a look and see what's on the inside of this box. Let me get it over here and get it opened up. Bear with me a second. There we go. Alrighty. So I do like how this box kind of came. It's got this little cross member in it. It's the first time I've seen this. Uh, kind of helps to keep the box from getting crushed. Love that. Um, so I know I've, I've gotten enough kits that the the body come in crushed. So all right. So we've got your what I like to call your standard uh, wheels or rubber tires here, and they're solid rubber. So that's good. Um, the body. Let's get it open up and take a look at it. So I like the way the body lines on this thing is. It's got a little bit of, of work I'm going to have to do with some flashing. Um, this mold line right here is a little bit high. I'll work on that, get it cut down. Um, this is going to be a, a really nice kit to do. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I may do it as a stock or I may go ahead and modify it. I haven't decided yet, but i, I got a couple colors I'm looking at. So, no big deal. The inner tub, got your chassis. It's got the molded in uh, exhaust pipes, which, you know, they're okay, but um, can't really do a whole lot with those. You got your clear plastic, your headlight lenses. It does have quite a few parts on the sprue tree. So 
let's see what we have here. Looks like you have a um, a uh, spoiler. Not sure what this right here would be. Maybe I'll take a look and see later. You have your front seat. I like the patterns that are on it. You can go in there and do some good detailing on it. You got some engine parts, headers, your stock motor. So we can go with that route. Again, more of the engine. Um, axle and leaf springs are together. That's kind of okay, but apparently you can raise and lower the hood with the hood hinge. I like that. Radiator. You can put bucket seats in front. It's got a nice hood. Good detail. Don't much care. I'll have to see what I can do about covering that up. Uh, you can go with the hood scoop if you want to. Dash. Got a roll bar if you want to go that route. And that's pretty much the white sprue. And then you have your chrome tree here. which is pretty much typical. Don't care much for the rims that are in there, but that's alright. Let's see what we have for our decals. There they are. So supposedly these are new decals. Not bad. Not bad. Not a lot to them. You get some flames and you get some uh, uh, license plates. And that's it. So it's not bad. Direction. Typical monogram. It's got all your colors over here. Nice big pictures. Things that are detailed with the color codes going to it if you want to go the way they suggest it. Very good, uh, easy to read instructions. I like that. And then you have your paint decal area right there. So, not a whole lot to uh, this kit, but we're going to get into it. And we're going to see what we can do with it. And I will be with you guys shortly. Hey guys, John here, Motor T Scale Model. So I finally finished up this 1957 Nomad. <clears throat> really enjoyed building it. Uh, went went very very easy. Um, <clears throat> had a again operator error. Just a little bit of work on the chrome. I'm not real uh, sharp on using the. Um, uh, Oh, I can't think of what it's called now. The um, the tape chrome that you put down, it just jumped out of my mind. Uh, but anyway, so I think the kit turned out really well. As usual, I usually just kind of get to button it up and don't realize what I'm doing, and then I'm done. Um, so uh, I kind of finished this one up before uh, I got a lot of good video, but... Anyway, I think it looks good. It's been a while since I posted a video. Been on the road. Um, as I said before, I ended up uh, going up to St. Clair, Michigan. Drug an RV up there. Uh, the wife's brother was having some surgery, so we went up there and took care of him. And just kind of made a round trip out of it. It was pretty cool. We enjoyed Michigan. Um, posted a couple of videos of some car shows we went to in Ohio. And then one here in Texas. So, I'm going to work on some more... Uh, uh, content. I've just been kind of busy. Uh, we just got done with our 4th of July. We have a big 4th of July party here at my, my house. Uh, we got done with it. So, uh, got a little bit more time to spend taking care of things. And uh, just want to say, hey, thank you guys. Uh, I know I haven't been 
commenting commenting on a lot of videos here lately. I just I just been really busy. I watch them. Uh, and I know if I watch them, I probably have time to comment. But uh, you know, usually I'm either on the road while I'm watching them, uh, or or something's going on. I just put it on and watch the videos while I'm doing something else. So uh, it kind of uh, keeps me from really commenting. But I am watching your videos. I do love the content you guys are putting out. Thank you very much. Hey, if you guys are new to my channel, thank you for coming and checking it out. Uh, if you like what you see, hit that like button. Uh, hit that subscribe button so you'll get future videos. And uh, hit that share button. And I'd appreciate that. Kind of uh, gets me some more people to watch. And if you are a current member, thank you guys. Love you so much. Appreciate y'all. And I will catch y'all on the next video.